Barbara Kredsikova, the 28-year-old tennis sensation from the Czech Republic, claimed her second Grand Slam singles title by defeating Italy's Jasmine Paulini in a thrilling match at the All England Club on Saturday. With a scoreline of 6-2, 2-6, 6-4, Kredsikova emerged victorious in a nail-biting encounter that showcased her resilience and skill. Kredsikova's journey to the Wimbledon Championship was nothing short of remarkable. Seated number 31, she had never advanced past the fourth round in the singles draw at this prestigious event. Her triumph on Saturday not only adds another Grand Slam title to her name but also cements her legacy in the tennis world. As Kredsikova clutched the Venus Rosewater dish, she seemed overwhelmed with emotion. Starting her winner's speech with stammering words, she admitted, I don't have any words right now. She went on to describe the day as the best day of my life. This victory marks her second Grand Slam singles title, her first being the French Open in 2021. In addition to her singles success, Kretsikova has an impressive record in doubles, including a career Grand Slam and women's doubles and three Australian Open titles in mixed doubles, the match itself was a testament to Kretsikova's tenacity. She dominated the first set with a convincing 6-2 win. However, Paulini bounced back in the second set, taking it 6-2 and setting the stage for a dramatic final set. Kretsikova secured the first break of the third set, a crucial moment that shifted the momentum in her favor. Despite Paulini's valiant efforts, Kretsikova held her nerve to clinch the set 6-4 and, with it, the championship. I in her post-match speech, Kretsikova took a moment to honor her compatriot and mentor, Jana Novotna, the 1998 Wimbledon women's singles champion who passed away in 2017. I never really dreamed that I would win the same trophy as Jana did in 1998, she said, reflecting on the emotional significance of her victory. Paulini, accepting the runner-up trophy, graciously congratulated Kretsikova and expressed her mixed emotions. It's a dream come true to play a Wimbledon final, she said, while also acknowledging her disappointment, today, I'm a little bit sad. Despite her defeat, Paulini's performance was commendable, making her the first player since Serena Williams in 2016 to reach the finals of both the French Open and Wimbledon in the same season. Kretsikova's victory at Wimbledon is a testament to her perseverance through an injury plagued season. As she basks in the glory of her achievement, the tennis world celebrates the rise of a remarkable champion whose journey inspires many.